We know a fever is a symptom of COVID-19. Now that some businesses have reopened, the state is recommending temperature checks for employees. These no-touch thermometers can range from a small $50 device to a several thousand dollar camera system. How does the technology work? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. It's already happening in some grocery stores, apartment buildings, and workplaces like Cambria. Our employees are thrilled. Where any employee who registers above 99 gets further screening. Cambria says it chose that temperature to be conservative. These cameras report a half degree margin of error. How do they work? Well, it's, uh, it's looking at infrared uh, energy, which is thermal imaging. Bill Parrish founded Seek Thermal. And so we actually see heat. Uh, everything in the world gives off heat. You are warmer than the uh, room you're in, so you're actually a light bulb. And since skin temperature is related to core body temperature... It's taking a picture of the light that you give off from your face. It measures it right near the tear duct and doesn't send anything your way. The rays are going the other direction. The rays are coming from you to the camera. Some companies use these cameras like Cambria. 99 or 99.5 or 100 is the limit. Others use them to compare, knowing that temperatures can differ by person or if you just came in from outside or if it's morning versus afternoon. The application is not about an absolute temperature measurement. It's more about detecting those individuals with elevated body temperature higher than the last 10 people that have been screened. Whether it's six inches or six feet away, the technology is the same. The one you hold up to your head is not really imaging. It's just one detector looking at one spot where thermal imaging actually draws the whole picture. Parrish understands there are privacy concerns. We don't save files, so we don't try to identify anything, but people are walking in front of a camera and they're having their temperature taken. We're gonna, as a society, need to resolve these sort of things. Cambria says it isn't collecting data on individuals, but on the averages, anonymously, which could even be helpful during flu season. And it can provide incentives for people who have fevers to stay home. Are you just getting call after call after call? We are. We're doing the best we can to ramp up, but uh, it's a big demand. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. We know there are people who carry COVID without showing a fever or symptoms. And that's why the state considers temperature checks just one tool, along with social distancing, disinfecting, and evaluating sick leave policies. If you have a good question for Heather, record a quick video and send it to her through WCCO.com links.